Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I've been checking out another Android launcher, stepping once more away from Nova to try something quite unique, this time in the form of Wide Launcher, where instead of having separate home screen pages with Wide Launcher, it's more like one massive home screen spread across multiple pages, giving your setups that continuous flowing look. And unlike most of the other launchers out there, this one allows you to truly take your home screen customization to a whole different level. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So in this tutorial, we're going to take the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus from its stock look and using Wide Launcher, we're going to turn it into this, where every time you swipe, you're literally flowing from one screen to the next. Now before we jump into the overview of the launcher as well as its customization options, let's first start with the setup. For this, simply head to the Play Store using the link in the description below and simply click install for this free launcher. And once you're done installing, simply open the app and you should see this screen here. Now as we complete the setup process, it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account to back up your customization settings. And of course, make sure to allow it all of the permissions that it needs in order for the launcher to work correctly. Now this process may take a good few minutes as the launcher tries to gather all of the necessary information from your current setup, such as your most used apps for its app organization. Now that we have that out of the way, when you first load it up, you're going to be welcomed by one of its many templates, each one of which is basically a three page home screen setup, which you can slide through and interact with all of the different elements, allowing it to load in your own apps. Now depending on the template, they also come with their own preloaded widgets, some of which I personally find quite useful, such as this cute little sticky note, which is even readable while just sitting on your home screen. However, depending on the type of widget, you may also need to grant additional permissions to access further information from your phone, like here with the contacts widget. Now another benefit that you get from this launcher is the notification log, which keeps a hold of all of your notifications, even the ones that you dismissed from your notification panel. To access it, simply swipe right from your leftmost screen and make sure to enable the permissions. Now this panel not only keeps a track of all your historical notifications, but it also groups them into separate categories. So if you ever wanted, you can also filter them down. Now when it comes to customization, there's a whole slew of options available. By simply long pressing anywhere on the home screen, you get instant access to this basic customization settings, which not only gives you instant access to altering the home screen layout, app size, and even the app shape, but also adjusting folder colors, wallpaper, and going the extra mile with decorations such as image frames and stickers. And if that wasn't enough, you can access even more in-depth options by simply tapping on the wide button at the bottom of your home screen setup. From here, you also get the additional options to manage all your themes, jumping from each one at a whim. So whether that be the ones that come default with the launcher, the ones that you build yourselves, or even the ones that you download from the rest of the community via the theme section. Just keep in mind that some of these may ask you to install some additional icon or widget packs. Now for those of you wondering, you can still access all of your apps with a single swipe up from the home screen. But here, now you also have additional tabs for all of your widgets, custom launcher layouts, and even some cute interactive pets. Now before we move on to customizing our home screen, let's set wide as our default launcher. For this, we're going to head into the settings option, where under the default home app section, we want to select the wide launcher. Now that we have that out the way, let's move on to how we can customize using the launcher. Every single item that you see on the home screen 
whether that be the photo frames, interactive widgets, or even the app icons, can all be manipulated. Just simply long press on any one of these elements and hit edit to access the adjustment options. Using these, you'll be able to adjust the overall size of the widget, the canvas itself, the rotation, its positioning, as well as customizing its background. This means that regardless of the wallpapers that you decide to use, you can freely adjust the home screen elements to match. So now that we have the fundamental controls out the way, let's customize those photo frames. Simply load up the same menu as before, but this time we want to click on the photo button. This is going to allow us to load in our own custom images and even crop into the section that we want to use. Now for those of you who want to take your home screen customizations even further, you can also program the photo frames to open your custom apps anytime you tap on them. Just use the arrow icon right here. This feature alone opens up the possibilities for some awesome home screen setups. So instead of using the standard boring app icons, you can use your own images and lay them out as you wish. Now as for these home screen groups, if you want to create your own custom ones for either apps or contacts, just simply head into your app drawer, the palette tab and grab yourselves one of these empty layouts. After which, just simply drag in the apps or contacts that you want to include in the group, creating your own custom combination. Now finally, this launcher comes with its own high quality interactive pets each one of which costs a different amount of in-app currency known as cookies. So make sure to take your time and check each one of them out. Personally, I went for that cute chihuahua because it stands out from my dark home screen. Now there's still a ton of customization options hidden away within the launcher. And as someone who's always looking to customize my home screens, I can truly say that this launcher's up there with the best of them, even when compared to my favorite launcher, Nova. But what do you guys think of it? And what launches would you recommend that I check out next? If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And before you leave, make sure to grab all of these custom live wallpapers from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find them all there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.